Biocybernaut training can, in fact, enhance your creativity. At one point, I studied a group of Stanford Research Institute scientists and gave them the Alpha One training, measuring their creativity before and after their Alpha training. The average increase was 50%. Huge increase. Some of them solved problems that they'd been unsuccessfully working on for over two years. And in Alpha, the solutions came just like that. And the way it works is, in a higher alpha state, your brain accesses information that you've uploaded into your mind. You might have forgotten it, but it's there. And in alpha, you're faced with a problem, and you go into alpha, and your brain will assemble information from various sources that you've previously learned to provide a creative solution. At one point, uh, Colin Martindale studied creativity, uh, by putting together a group of creative people who had patents, publications, paintings, obvious indicia of creativity, and a matched group of normals. And uh, in the lab, he studied both of them, and uh, they did not differ in their resting brainwaves. The creative people and the matched group of normals, no difference. But then he gave them problems to work on. The normals sat there in their normal brainwave state and did only as well as normals usually do on creative problems. And the creative people turned on a high alpha state when it's, in which they quickly and effectively solved the problems in a manner that distinguished them as creative people. So Martindale said, creativity is simply a matter of having the right brainwaves. And with BioCybernaut Alpha training, you can learn to be more creative.